Hello guys, Cooper on TV here, back for yet another match review. So it's finished Stoke City 2, Birmingham City 0. Birmingham City 1, Swansea City 3. It's finished Birmingham City 0, Huddersfield 3. What a load of rubbish that game was. What are we thinking? Losing 3-0 at home to Huddersfield. Six goals conceded at home to two teams that are fighting for their lives to stay in the championship. Yet again, a crap performance from Blues. Conceding three goals at home. The last four home games, we've conceded 12 goals. Conceding three goals at every single one of them home games. It is not good enough. I'm sick and tired of us like just giving away goals left, right, and centre. 12 goals in our last four games. Crap performance that was. Absolutely dreadful. I turned it off for 15 minutes to go. I could not bear to watch that performance. We only had a good 10 minute spell in the 30th minute to the 40th minute. And yeah. Steve Spooner, what was it? Same you old, same old. Like, it was 10, I was 10 years, the last time I was in the Premier League, I was 10 years old. This club, it's, it's just crazy how far it's fallen. And then you've got people on Facebook saying, oh, it hasn't fallen, it hasn't fallen. We haven't fallen, oh, I haven't fallen that, we haven't fallen that much. We have, we're fighting to stay. I actually think we could be, we could be about four points off. Well, I think we are. As it stands, we're four points off the bottom three. If we can don't get deducted tie points, if we can don't get deducted tie points, we are going down. Pep Clotet doesn't care. Pep Clotet, he's, he's announced he's going to be leaving Blues a couple of weeks ago. What does need? Zola walked when he knew that he, his time was over. Pep Clotet needs to leave tonight. He needs to walk out. He needs to resign. I don't resign. want to be, be in League One next season. I don't want to be in League One next season playing the likes of, of Fleetwood and that. What are you are mad? Of? That formation, the 5 3. 5-3-2, yeah? The 5-3-2, why are you changing the formation like that? Why didn't you just stick to a simple 4-4-2 formation? And yeah, why change so much? Why change so much? questions need to be asked at this football club. We are getting relegated. We are getting relegated. 11, win, 11 games, sorry, without a win. Another poor performance against Stoke City. That was probably even worse than the Swansea game. Watching that was just painful, painful to see. It's clubbing his men. I'm going to get into the start in 11. So we we started Lee Camp in goal. Dean Clark Dean needs to get the hell out of the club. Is it that? We play like, we get a draw against West Brom, a nil nil draw, don't even concede a goal, keep a clean sheet, and then when it comes to playing Hull City and Huddersfield, we concede six goals. And people are saying, oh, don't be too negative. Pep Clotet needs to be sacked tonight. You know, get rid of Pep Clotet tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Pep Clotet, P45, get out of the club, bring in. Craig Garner uh, as caretaker manager until the end of the season. Do something different because I'm sick and tired of TTA as well. I'm sick and tired of them. We we done better without. Uh, yeah, we went one and up. Uh, I was really happy when I was watching. If you want to go and watch that back, and then we concede Ryan Brewster scoring in the 12th minute. So yeah, we couldn't even hold on to the lead for more than 10 minutes. And then just before half time, Swansea score, and then they kill the game off and make it 3-1 in the second yeah. half. 20 shots. They had 10, yeah, wow, wow. It means nothing. You could have about 100 shots. If you lose the game 3-1, can, we can't take our chances. I don't know if we, uh, by the sounds of it, we had like a couple of decent chances. Seven on target as well, more than, I believe it was more than Swansea. But, I mean, this club is done, this club is finished. Who are we going to appoint next when Pet Clotet goes? Oh, Steve McLaren probably. I wouldn't put it past these owners. The players are crumbling under the pressure. They are crumbling under the pressure. Pep Clotet doesn't care. He doesn't care Blues get relegated. Why would he care? Why would he care? He's not going to be here next season, is he? Losing. We have to rely on other teams' misfortunes to stay in the division. We don't deserve to be in this division. If it's in the way we're playing. Just playing hoofball up to Lukas Zukovic, up to Scott Hogan. It does not I mean, work. Man City and the, these teams, they play, they play on the ground. They play... Possession football, and they try and cut teams open like that um, by being patient. But we just we just don't do that, do we? Really, we had one shot on target. Oh, I'm gonna get it right. It's really awful. Where is this? Have we even got a defence? It's it's missing. It's completely missing. Uh, our defence is invisible, as well. They could have been about three or four and enough in the first half. Where was the defence? Where was our defence in that first half? Roberts, Dean, and um, Gord. Gord. Throwing in a youngster into a relegation battle. Harding. Uh, 
Harden and Colin played on the left and the right, so it's just a hate and They come into the club, we had Gary Robert, we was fighting for the playoffs, we was actually going places, unlike now, it's the same old, same old, mid-table, mid-table, you know, mid-table or survive relegation, we're not going any, we're not going anywhere as a football club, it's really sad, only 20 million for one of the world's best young talents. The likes of Borussia Dortmund ones in Manchester United, the clubs around Europe, and we, you know, yeah, we should give them, give them 20 million. We only spent 8 million on a student of Chatham's now. Like, these owners need to go. These owners need to go. I would take that former Leeds owner. Right yeah. now. Even without our, even without our Aladdin, we still can see him three goals at home to Swansea. Fair, fair play to Swansea, fair play to Swansea. They come to St Andrews and completely destroyed us. Um, and even though we had more shots. To, on goal, it is like I said. It doesn't mean anything. We've got Stoke on Sunday. Yeah, it's been announced that it's going to be on Sky. Whoopie do. Yeah, let's have a fucking party about it. What is this, Steve Spooner? I mean, I know it's not you, your fault, but you are just absolutely crap. You need to get out of the club. If we've got you to the end of the season. I think we're doomed for relegation. <laughs> I just Bellingham as well. Absolutely awful. We just played hoofball up to you, which I've already touched upon that. But Scott Hogan as well. The goals are dried up for him. Uh, I don't know where we go from here. I don't know where we go from here as a football club. If we do keep Steve Spooner till the end of the season, I could actually see us getting relegated. An absolute disgrace how we can see got like, two to three goals a game. What happened to the team? This is the same team that went 13 games unbeaten. Yes, 13 games unbeaten. We had, I think, the best unbeaten streak in the whole of England. And look, look, look at look what we're doing now. Look what we're doing now. Conceding goals left, right, and centre. We have no identity about us. We didn't show no fight. In the second half, we changed it to a 4 4 2. We brought on Bella and that. We brought on Crowley. But it was too little, too late. There's no good showing passion, showing fight in the second half when you're losing the game 2 0. Fuming. It's worse than the Swansea game. Absolutely 100% worse than the Swansea game. Steve Spooner, what are you doing? This is even worse than what we played in the Pec I am absolutely fuming and devastating. My club, sorry. And yours. It's just falling and falling and falling and falling and it's just I can't deal with it no more. I can't deal with it no more. I try and be positive and try and be, keep trying to be positive, but we just keep getting battered every single game. Bottle jump. Complete and utter fucking bottle. Fucking bottle it. We should have won that game two or three nil and we come away with a fucking point. A fucking point against a team that had one shot on target and they scored from it. Fucking Ten shots, they had about one. We should have made it two or three in the first half. We you know we could have because we don't have that clinical edge and we don't have a striker that can fucking put the ball. Hello guys, keep on TV back for your new video. And you know why I'm laughing? Because we couldn't even beat a league one. Can you get any worse? We just Oh what a dire game, what an absolute dreadful game. We should have lost as well. We should have been knocked out of the cup in the last minute commentary, Mr. Sitter. It's just this season has been absolutely woeful. I know we're in the fifth round draw. Yeah, whoopie do. Yeah, we're gonna win the cup, aren't we? Dad? Two shots on target. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. And I'll say it three times because it actually is really embarrassing because we can't actually win games of football. It is really worrying to be honest. Petr Klotet needs to get out of this club. He has no idea what he's doing. Season finishing mid table or just about survive. It's not good enough for this football club. We just sort of we deserve to be in the Premier League. We deserve to be in the Premier League. And TTA are not delivering. They're not delivering. Trillion Trophy Asia. That's their name. Trillion Trophy Asia. More like Poundland Asia. However, however you want to put it. This is a disgrace. A disgraceful performance. We have fucking Lucas Ukovic. You could, don't get me wrong with Lucas Ukovic. It's good. But he's the, he, that's only one striker that's going to good halves. We have an amazing first half. And don't we can't finish games off as well. We have an amazing first half. We can't finish the game off, and in the second half, we drop off in intensity. And Cardiff get the equaliser, and it ends in a draw. I don't know how, like I said again, I don't know how we haven't won the game. Reach the Premier League. Why? Peclotet's not the man to do that. A TTA on drugs or something. They must be on some drugs, major, strong drugs. <laughs> TTA, since they've come in, we've got even worse. Under Gary Rabbit, we have no owners. We're just fighting for promotion. But now, this. TTA, this is what happens when you sack good managers and appoint bad managers. This is what happens. Can't beat Coventry on our own stadium. This is the consequences. 
Last time we kept the fucking clean sheets, 22nd of October against Blackburn and a 1-0 win. That's nearly three fucking months ago without a clean sheet. I mean, yeah, great, yeah, great coaching. It's fucking hard to, you know, play this attack in football when you don't fucking have a striker that can fit into your philosophy. Yuka Sukovic, don't get me wrong, he's a good striker, but he doesn't fit into Pep uh, system. We need a quick, pacey striker who can score goals. We deserve to win the game. I mean, obviously, of course we did, but yeah, so... Make sure you like, share, and also subscribe. Keep on TV, and I'll see you later.